Hello, it's Scott Manley here, back with Kerbal Space Program. This is the Rods from the Gods mod, and this was actually a mod which uh, I had the ideas for, and I actually asked a bunch of people in the chat channel to to see if they could model the parts for it, and it was actually, and I'm going to get his name wrong, I think it's Sal Wager, um, yeah, or who ended up delivering it, although uh, Tiverius also did his own version uh, which was not delivered to me, I guess, in time for this. But the mo the part I needed, I asked people to model me uh, an 18 foot long um, tungsten uh, telephone pole, basically. You know, one foot wide, 18 feet long, eight tons of just solid, dense metal. And what do you do with something of that size? Well, you launch it into orbit, obviously. This station here is christened Zeus. And it carries six of them. Because Zeus, the god from mythology, of course, would uh, was known for throwing thunderbolts from his, uh, from his throne on Mount Olympus. Throwing them down on the mortals below us. And that's what this Zeus is all about. It throws giant thunderbolts in the form of telephone poles. You see, we're orbiting around. We're getting to the right location. We're going to aim at Kerbal Space Center here. So, what we're going to do first is, is let the thing adjust itself into a retrograde position. And uh, I'm going to get into chase cam view because the rods only have braking thrusters. So, we're going to have to deploy them. Oh, actually, before we even deploy them, we're going to have to charge up the batteries on the probe bodies. They, I neglected to include batteries because, um, you know, military cost cutting, etc, etc. I mean, okay, this is... A legitimate idea which originally came around in the 1950s I believe and uh, it was actually Jerry Purnell who's credited with the original concept when he was working at Boeing back before he became a science fiction author he studied the concept of a weapon system that would essentially deliver giant telephone pole size projectiles from space and the idea in making them you know tungsten telephone poles is you're making them really long and thin so that they don't have a huge cross-section to the atmosphere. And that means that, unlike space capsules, which are short and flat and blunt, these things are long and thin, and, you know, they have very little air resistance. So they can go down and hit the ground at, you know, Mach 10 easily. Space capsules, you would like to slow down a little more because parachutes don't work at that speed. So, yeah, I've... I've uh, Used the, I basically used the RCS thrusters on the main spacecraft to move it away. This is now free floating. I'm enabling the engines. We're just going to hold the retrograde position and fire up the engines. Everything falls away. Now, of course, you'll notice that the engines are mounted backwards. Um, this is not a conventional missile. Conventional missiles are leaving the ground trying to go upwards. These, on the other hand, are trying to slow down so that they return to the planet using the planet's gravity to accelerate their descent. Hello, it's Scott Manley here, back with Kerbal Space Program. This is the Rods from the Gods mod, and this was actually a mod which uh, I had the ideas for, and I actually asked a bunch of people in the chat channel to, to see if they could model the parts for it, and it was actually... And I'm going to get his name wrong. I think it's Sal Wager, um, yeah, or who ended up delivering it. Although uh, Tiverius also did his own version, uh, which was not delivered to me, I guess, in time for this. But the mo the part I needed, I asked people to model me uh, an 18 foot long um, tungsten uh, telephone pole, basically. You know, one foot wide, 18 feet long, eight tons of just solid dense metal and what do you do with something of that size well you launch it into orbit obviously this station here is christened zeus and it carries six of them because zeus the god from mythology of course would uh was known for throwing thunderbolts from his uh from his throne on Mount Olympus, throwing them down on the mortals below us. And that's what this Zeus is all about. It throws giant thunderbolts in the form of telephone poles. You see, we're orbiting around, we're getting to the right location. We're going to aim at Kerbal Space Center here. So, what we're going to do first is, is let the thing adjust itself into a retrograde position. And uh, I'm going to get into chase cam view because the rods 
only have braking thrusters. So we're going to have to deploy them. Oh, actually, before we even deploy them, we're going to have to charge up the batteries on the probe bodies. They, I neglected to include batteries because, um, you know, military cost cutting, etc., etc. I mean, okay, this is a legitimate idea, which originally came around in the 1950s, I believe. And uh, it was actually Jerry Purnell who's credited with the original concept when he was working at Boeing, back before he became a science fiction author. He studied the concept of a weapon system that would essentially deliver giant telephone pole size projectiles from space. And the idea of making them, you know, tungsten telephone poles is you're making them really long and thin so that they don't have a huge cross section to the atmosphere. And that means that unlike space capsules, which are short and flat and blunt, these things are long and thin and, you know, they have very little air resistance. So they can go down and hit the ground at, you know, Mach 10 easily. Space capsules you would like to slow down a little more because parachutes don't work at that speed. So yeah, I've, I've uh, used the... I've, I've basically used the RCS thrusters on the main spacecraft to move it away. This is now free-floating. I'm enabling the engines. We're just going to hold the retrograde position and fire up the engines! And everything falls away. Now, of course, you'll notice that the engines are mounted backwards. Um, this is not a conventional missile. Conventional missiles are leaving the ground trying to go upwards. These, on the other hand, are trying to slow down so that they return to the planet, using the planet's gravity to accelerate their descent. Anyway, obviously that was a miss by about 40 kilometers, so uh, I go back and adjust the orbit a, bit, a little. Come in a bit higher, actually, so that the descent is much steeper and we come in much faster. And this is us, we're aiming for the um, the aircraft that is on the runway. It's a rather spectacular aircraft, which uh, you might see more off in the future. It comes from another mod, which uh, does a better job on the aerodynamics. And uh, I'm sure you can all guess what that one is. But here we are, t coming in at almost two kilometers per second. Now, uh, yeah, that is only Mach 4 or 5 at this time. It's rather slow compared to the real thing. But there we go, right on course, right for the end of the runway, and boom. Well, um, that was less spectacular than I thought, because what happens, I think, is that the floating coordinate system re well, it adjusts the coordinates or something at the last minute, because it's coming in so fast, and the object, the spacecraft or the plane, collides into the surface instead. So um, that would be a nice bug to fix, I guess. Well, let's uh, try hitting something else that won't move. Uh, let's try aiming for... Well, can you guess which target I'm aiming for now? Again, coming in very steep. Let's watch the velocity this time. You see, we're picking up speed at this time. We're still falling down. And uh, now the atmosphere is starting to have an effect. And But we're still going faster. And now they are 22.45 is what we were going when we hit about 20 kilometers. Now... We are descending, obviously, at some remarkable speed with a 20 degree slope. I think that must be almost like 700 meters per second vertical we're going down. There is Kerbal Space Center there. You can see the range ticking off when we compare to the, the vehicle there. And we're going to go straight down the middle into the vehicle assembly building. <laughs> Mission successful, but it is still standing, even if it does have a giant telephone pole-sized hole through it. Anyway, that's enough for me. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.